Hello YouTubers and fellow hams. Well, today I thought I'd talk about a little used, probably a little known feature in FL Digi uh, when working with digital modes, especially if your radio has a narrow uh, filter installed. Now I have a Yezu FT817 back here and it has the 300 hertz narrow CW filter installed. There's also a 500 hertz, which is pretty popular. Um, presuming that your radio has narrow filtering, there is a feature in FL Digi that can be quite useful, especially when working modes, narrow modes like PSK, or modulated CW, or uh, some of the others, uh, on a crowded band, like 20 meters on a nighttime, or 40 meters in the nighttime. There could be quite a few stations. And as you know, uh, when all those stations are stacked up, if you're trying to work one right here that's weak, and there's one right next to it that's strong, he'll overshadow this one. He'll, he'll descent your receiver a little bit and make it harder to copy this one. And that's where the filtering comes in handy. Um, your narrow filter uh, can be applied to narrow down and cut out the other stations that are around, allowing you to copy that weaker station. Now, there's a button in FL Digi marked QSY. And I'm going to show you how that works and how that applies uh, with your narrow filtering in your radio. So let me reposition the camera over here uh, where we can see the radio and the screen, and I'll show you how that works. Okay, we are tuned on to 20 meters with FL Digi running and decoding. And uh, I have the uh, radio set up in digital mode, as you can see. And uh, this button is narrow, and that turns on my narrow filter. You can hear the difference. Now if we go to the uh, screen for FL Digi, we're now looking at the waterfall and I'm going to hit the narrow filter. Now you'll see we've got a broad range of audio coming through here. In fact, if I shift this over, there we go, you can see that we're at the full 2.3 kilohertz bandwidth. Now if I hit the narrow filter, you now see that we've narrowed down our window through the IF to just this section around 1000 Hz. The narrow filter was shifted up from its normal position at 600 Hz for CW to 1000 Hz since we're in digital mode, DIG. So let's say that we are uh, copying a station, like this one down here, he's kind of weak, and I want to use the filter, I want to put him in the sweet spot. All I need to do is hit the QSY button and it moved him right up to 1000 and now I can hit narrow filter and of course he stopped transmitting but uh, you saw what happened there let me uh, take it out of narrow and we'll find another station here's one up here All right? I'll hit no well, he's too weak no yeah, there he is okay so I'll hit QSY it tunes my radio shifts him down and I can hit narrow and now if there were other stations around, uh, they wouldn't be bothering us, we'd just be copying him. So that is the power of the QSY button. A handy little feature in FL Digi. Of course, you have to have rig control enabled, which I have running. And uh, this is the actual frequency on the radio. See, I can, I can retune it. Or I can just click on that station and hit QSY and it'll retune it for me, putting him right on 1000 Hz. Now here's a station up here. Let's say I want to use the filter for him. QSY, it moved him right down. Turn on my filter. And there you go. So I wasn't right on him. There we are. So if you're contesting, or uh, it's just a busy night, remember that QSY button if you've got rig control. That can, uh, that can save you some headaches and help you work some of those weaker stations when there's stronger ones nearby. I mean, you can see here, there's a really strong station right there. If I turn off the uh, filter, now you can hear him, and you saw the rest of the waterfall turn a little darker because his added energy descensed the receiver slightly. I turn on the narrow filter, we'll actually get a little bit better copy on this station that we're on because all of this extra energy is being filtered out. 
and the receiver's sensitivity is focused around this area. So that's going to improve the situation a bit. So there you go, the QSY button in FL Digi. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.